so I guess we're going to be taking a look at Bounty of One. And before anybody asks about the uh, black bars at the top and bottom of the screen, that's because this game does not support 16 by 10. Guess what uh, format my laptop monitor is? Oh yeah, 16 by 10. So that's what's going on there. And I guess uh, if uh, you want to fix it, I'm pretty sure you're going to have to ask the dev to support uh, 16 by 10 monitors. Because um, this game does not have support for that. And it's fully out too. So I uh, don't know what's going on there. And yes, this is in full screen. Let's just turn down the massive volume a bit. So let's just get cracking on with it. And yeah, links for this game will be in the description below. And if it's not there, feel free to yell at me in the comments below. Also, like and subscribe if you want to support this channel. And uh, hmm. Let's see now. Sarah, Bodon, Nigel, Owen, and I don't have any choice to go uh, with any one of these characters, but uh, Sarah. Hmm. WSD to move, uh, dash slash confirm in space, and show stat slash and poses shift. Okay, so this is what we're gonna be doing it with this time. Hmm. Let's see now. Yep. Standard gameplay loop of any, uh, top down arena shooter like this. I see. Oh dear. Hmm. Well. At least, uh, we're shooting, but, uh, not fast enough, so I think the attack speed is gonna have to go up by quite a bit. Hmm, but at least we took out that one, and speaking of attack speed, uh, yoink. And I guess I'll see you back at the, uh, next level up. Hmm. Oh, hey, more attack speed. Yoink. Yep, we're going for the death by a thousand cuts, uh, play style, I guess. Oh, hey, there's uh, an enemy with a boss uh, health bar, so... If you could kindly shoot that uh, target, please, that would be nice. And make that enemy perish before you do. Hmm. Let's see now. Okay. It's just gonna be easy street for this enemy. I just have to just kite the horde around. And possibly get some more damage, because, uh, yeah. Hmm. Let's try this chest, and let's see now. Gain an armor that protects you from one hit, cool down 60 seconds. Deals damage in an area around you after you dash, gain one dash, or you miss an aura that periodically inflicts 30% of your damage to enemies in an area around you. Hmm, I think I'll take that one, please, and thank you. And let's get some more damage. Okay, let's uh, try not to die. Hmm. Oh, hey, more attack speed. Yoink! Oh, right, there's a uh, another mini boss uh, coming after me, so um, let's make sure the mini boss perishes before I do. Yes, I'm trying to avoid the use of a certain uh, word. It starts with gun. Oh, well. Anyways, uh, let's raise the maximum health by two, so now I have five. Yes, the word I am talking about, uh, starts with done, and originally rose, uh, from a desk, uh, from a Marvel comic, uh, with Spider-Man and, uh, Dust Goat, I think, or, uh, whatever the, uh, uh, one is. Yes, uh, Unalive, that's the word I'm talking about. Yeah, that one was originally, that word originally came about to mod online censorship, and look at the situation we're in now. Oh, well. Hmm. I could either get uh, more maximum health or reduce the cooldown of uh, dashes and abilities by 10%. Hmm, I'll take that one. The uh, reduce cooldown. I don't think I need more health, I just need more damage going out. Ow. And I already lost a hit point. So that's lovely. Hmm. Increase your chance of dealing critical damage by 5%, gain a little bit more damage, or two dashes, uh, more. I'll take the little bit more damage, please, and thank you. And hey, you wanna know another fun fact? The only reason rabbits have any connection to carrots at all is because of Bud's Bunny. Yeah, that's it. That's the whole reason why. And then, now uh, you know. 
Oh, hey, more uh, level up, so let's reduce the cooldowns of dashes and abilities by another 15%. Yoink! Okay, so now the Aurora is triggering more and more, so that's good. And, um, yeah, I just need more damage in total. And try not to uh, run into any enemies. Well, any more enemies than necessary, so let's see if I can uh, take the enemies away from the chest. Oh dear, did these are just uh, picked up, and that's when you know, uh, you're in for a bad time. When your projectiles should be destroyed, the damage is reduced by 50% and increase instead. Maximum of two times. For each turn, health get better and deal 10% damage, but move 5% slower. I don't think I can deal with that one. And your projectiles slow down any enemies they touch by 70% for one second. So, yoink! Yeah, I took the one that slows down enemies. Hmm. Let's also gain a little bit more damage. So the Aurora can deal more damage. Because, uh, yeah, I don't uh, fire my uh, little crossbow when I'm uh, moving. Which is uh, not good. Especially with the situation I'm in. So that's why the Aurora is uh, OP for this character. Yeah, I always go for the Aurora. You mentioned the aura that slows enemies in an area around you by 35%. Shoots four times faster but deals three times less damage. Drops all collectibles on the screen when you eliminate a deputy. I think I want the pickup range. So thank you. Let's also get some more movement speed so we can just get out of uh, city situations faster. And just reposition a bit easier. Like in this instance. Hmm. Yeah, I really need to start leveling up the damage that my, uh, aura can do. Hmm. Let's see, now. Ooh, hey, another level up. Ooh, hey! Raise the range of your area effect and pickup range by 40%. Yoink! I'll take that, uh, without question. Please and thank you, game. Hmm. So, yeah, I guess this build will uh, either live by the aurora or perish by the aurora. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Now, let's uh, actually grab a Mars attack speed. So, uh, thank you, game. And dodge that bullet. And, um, yeah. Oh, hey, another deputy. So, I just I just have to uh, make that deputy perish so I can uh, grab everything on the map at once. And that's a good thing for me. So, let's just uh, mosey our way on through the uh, little guys. And, uh, that was an achievement for all. Something I did. I don't know what I did to earn that one. Hmm. Let's also increase the, uh, my chance of dealing critical damage by 5%. Yoink! Hmm. And uh, just uh, shots coming at me, because, um, yeah. Hmm. Let's see now. Right, so. Yeah, I guess this is uh, how this game is gonna go. And thank you very much for the chat. Hmm. Do I want the two shields that rotate around you and block enemy projectiles? Or do I want to shoot behind me as well? Or, finally raise your attack speed by 40% but the half of your shots are less precise. I believe I was going for the Perish by 1000 shots uh, build. Yep, that's the one I'm going for. Okay, let's see now. Yep, and we're really cruising along now. Hmm. This is the increased chance of dealing critical damage by 7%, so yoink! Oh boy! Sheriff! How lovely! Let's just, uh, grab that heart! Simple Tom! Oh boy, it's an armadillo! You see me rolling! <laughs> oh dear! Hmm... Okay, time to dodge the projectiles and get out of the way of the uh, boss. Hmm... Right, so I guess I can just go in and hit a dozen times, and they're about, so let's, uh, keep on our toes and just, uh, randomly, uh, move around, and try and dodge all the projectiles that are coming our way, and the boss. Okay, so far, so good on that front. Let's try and make the boss perish, uh, first. Hmm. Okay, so now it's doing the spinning rolling attack thingy and spinning it out of a whole bunch of projectiles and it got me. Now I'm down to three health. Yeah, I really need to start rapidly increasing my health. Is uh, all this uh, boss fight has uh, taught me. And there goes the boss. 
And I got an achievement for that. Hmm. Gaining armor that protects you from one hit. Shoot an orbiting projectile regularly. Cool down in four seconds, match 20 projectiles at the same time. Or shoots four times faster but deals three times less damage. I think I want the orbiting projectile, uh, thingy. Yoink! Hmm. Let's see, now... You know what? I think I want more movement speed. Please and thank you, game. Let's see, now what are we at? Uh, for movement speed 4. Yep, it's definitely showing. Too bad we can only shoot our, uh, crossbow when we're, uh, standing still, but... Oh well, it is what it is. I didn't make the game. I just played it by the rules of the game. And there's an achievement for walk a thousand meters. I don't speed tyrant units. Hmm. Yeah, Imperial units are freedom units, so that makes uh, magic units uh, tyrant units. That's how that works on this channel. And you know what? Let's uh, see now. Let's uh, also increase the uh, damage. So that should uh, help out with the Aurora, and we're dealing 30 damage uh, with that uh, Aurora, so that's pretty good. Hmm. Oh, hey, mini boss. Hello, mini boss. And let's see how fast we can destroy you just by uh, moving around you in a circle. Yeah, I really need to increase the size of my uh, little Aurora thing so I can uh, rapidly beat the enemies perish faster than I do. And that's uh, the name of this game. I think, ow. Let's also stupidly run into an enemy. Hmm. Critical damages deal 100% more damage, or. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the critical damages deal 100% more damage. That's what I'm gonna go for. And yep, that's definitely helping, and just about ran into the mini boss that I was uh, making fun of earlier. So, um, let's just, uh, not do that. And yeah. Yep, this is how you play the game, I guess. Okay, now I'm down to two health, so that's not good. Hmm. I think I'll take the more damage, please. And hopefully stay out of the way of the uh, enemies this time. So that means I have to stay on my feet. Like so. Hmm. I guess the uh, speed is king in this game. Just like it is in Brotato. Oh dear. Hmm. Let's see now. Okay, I really need to drastically increase the uh, size of the Aurora, so I guess I'm going to be taking uh, all the Aurora size increases I can, or the area of effect, just so I can uh, do that faster. Hmm. Oh hey, speaking of which, here's more movement speed. Yoink! And I'm uh, Speedy Gonzales right now, so I can just touch in and out of combat, and that's pretty good. And I'm down to one health. And I got the achievement for taking uh, 10 hits in one game. Hmm. And I need three mini bosses after my head at once. How lovely. And yep, Plague Bear. Kill 300 enemies with uh, Onion in total. And. Ooh, hey, gain much more attack speed. Yoink! Okay, just. Gotta stay on my feet, cause now I have just uh, one hit point left, and that's uh, no bueno. Hmm. So far, I seem to be doing the job just fine. Especially with how fast I can move now. And that's always a good thing when I'm moving this quickly. Cause I can just get out of the way of the enemies, and one mini boss is almost dead. And that's a mini boss. Hmm, permanently on mid, so you damage by 30%, but reduces your attack speed by 20%, no thank you. Deals damage in an area around you before you dash, gain one dash, or every 30 shot, your net shot is uh, so huge and deals three times more damage and cannot be stopped. That sounds like fun. Yoink! Now, if only there was a hit point on the ground. So, um, game. I would sincerely appreciate, uh, some more health. Ooh, hey, more done more in task speed. Thank you very much. And there goes a uh, one mini boss. Hmm, when your projectiles should be destroyed, their damage is reduced by 50%. And they pierce instead. Deals damage in the area around you. Or, yeah, plus 5% crit chance for each ready to use dash or dash is gain one dash slot. I'll take the when your projectiles should be destroyed thingy. 
because that's just straight up piercing. And that was a massive uh, bullet. So I guess that was the 30 uh, bullets uh, times. Luckily, it's uh, pretty easy to stay out of the way of the enemies now, and I have all this movement speed. Hmm. One of you. When one of your dash spots is ready, create a burst that does 100% damage in an area around you, gain one dash, gain an armor that protects you from one hit, or heals for each time you gain a level. I'm gonna take that one. Thank you very much for the Valiant Heart game. Now I just have to stay alive uh, long enough to uh, make sure I actually get that level. Hmm. Well, so much for that idea. So, um, yeah, that was Bounty 1, and I gained a Bounty, uh, 9,440, Infamy level times 1, and, uh, the Bounty is also my leaderboard store. So, yeah, that was Bounty 1. I think it might be coming back again on this channel. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one tomorrow, so just subscribe if you want to get notified when that one, uh, drops. And if you want to support the channel, there'll be a link to my, uh, Go find in the description below, and if you want to, uh, pick up anything from Amazon, which will also support me, because, uh, the Amazon link in the description is uh, an affiliate link, which will also support the channel at no additional cost to you, because, uh, that's how that works. It's just set to the laptop that I currently use, so, um, yeah, I guess, uh, continue on to whatever, um, you want off of Amazon. I'm not your dad. So, um, yeah, bye.